Alright, uh, let's go speak to Paladin first and then I'll make a quick uh, loot tour I'm looking for once again ceramic and adhesive. Look at this place. Actually, when is speech you challenge? You hate these mutants as much as I do. Hang on. You know the drill. I gotta have a beer before I speak to you. That'll work. That should put me up to charisma 14. Indeed, it did. Okay, what say you? Hello. No, oh my gosh. Place. Don't start hitting on you him, Sergeant Psycho. As much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a Brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these... Boring! Just complete Don't the apologize. mission for me. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice. Yeah. What's important here is that you... Uh -huh. You should head back... Dismissed. You don't say. Thank you. Here we go. Speak to Elder Maxson, okay? Brotherhood. Okay, let me just show you where two more mini nukes are, and then I'll do a quick loot tour off camera. And I'll show you what I got, if anything. Bingo! Right there. Alright. Some purified water in the toilet. <laughs> you seen that, people? <laughs> okay, this makes more sense. Dirty water in that toilet, but purified water in the other toilet. Okay, so all I found was a couple of, actually, just one dirty ashtray and a couple of rolls of duct tape. So, as far as um, ceramic and adhesive, it wasn't that rich. And a whole, a whole bunch of uh, mentads, which would explain the complete dumbassery of these super mutants. These guys have not been eating their mentads. Alright, we're out of here. And I'm thirsty and hungry again. Some mud chops, more mud chops. Add a boy. Okay, so <laughs> if this is survival, there's no fast travel. We gotta get back there. Uh, they're gonna make us walk. They didn't hang around to give us a lift. So, I figure the best thing to do is to get to this point here and then walk across the bay because it's pretty shallow there. And then we'll walk over to um, the Boston Airport and take this, there's this kind of vertebrate that you can access and that will um, teleport you to the Pridman. Okay, I'll show you how to get there. That's the plan, let's do it. So long, big boy. It's been a slice. Okay, so aim for those little rock islands there. It's bound to be the shallowest route across the bay.
Blip, 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 blip. Get my feet wet. There we go. This should make the Boston Airport available as a settlement. We should get that notification fairly soon now. And that's just a uh, practice gunfire. Yeah, I'm in the middle of the shooting range. <laughs> Ouch! Fuck. <laughs> Okay, now technically speaking, I should go hostile on your asses. That just shows you how forgiving I am, okay? You know, I could like, you know... Check your fire. Right now, this is exactly where we want to be. Alright. Approach the, uh, the Boston Airport complex from the northeast, okay? Open up this door here. And you got a Nuka-Cola machine right dead ahead. Anything in there? No. Nothing in there. Hang it right. Find these stairs going up. Go around to the other side of this vertebrate here. Interact with it and you go straight up to the uh, Bridman. See? Bridman, fly. And go. There we go. And Elder Maxon is indoors. I heard. Oh shit, I didn't get to hear the gossip. That sounded juicy. I can always read the subtitles. Alright. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Well, thank you. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now. I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. Uh, hang on, Maxin. Scrubs. I'm over encumbered. I gotta take some more drugs. <laughs> reading there you go. A level of technology <laughs> that only the Institute could achieve. And please, don't let the, the psychotic scream deter you. Just, our just mission keep talking. Clear. <laughs> the Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Can't do, boss man. Not right now, Elder. Very well then. Dismissed. Alright. So, let's go do business. Looks like we have a thruster imbalance. Tweaking pitch. Alright. Let's have a fire sale. That means we're gonna sell everything, including the kitchen sink. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Hey, well, the Brotherhood's got a lifetime supply of nuclear ordnance thanks to you. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean I get a discount? Supply after a no. Like that. Cheap son of a bitch. Hey, hey, hang on. Let me get my uh, my charisma juice on.
Okay, one of you, one of you. I'm mildly dehydrated, boy, that really is okay, up to 14 now. There we go, and we're good. All right. Hey there. You're looking to pick a fight? I'll help you end it. Set me up. Got some choice weapon. All right, now, uh, just to offset the cost of everything I'm going to sell, and let's take every uh, 45 cal bullet he's got on hand. And all this fusion cell ammo. There we go. Things are off to a good start here. There you go, that worked out right nicely, but I also want to sell them all my power armor pieces as well. I'm still overloaded. Uh oh. Okay, uh <laughs> Hang on, let me let me figure this out. Okay. Very good. Now yeah, Hello. Can I help you with anything? I'll take a look. Well, uh... Why is those stock up on fusion cores? Can never have too many. Okay, that'll work. Leave him with a hundred bucks. And we're good. We're still overloaded. By how much? Can I slow walk over to my new power armor? I think I can do that. Let's do that. Okay, see you later, power armor frame. It's been a slice. See you in the funny papers. Okay, here we go. When it comes to keeping the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. We have T60. It only remains to mod it up. That's coming up next. No matter how many battles we win, there's always another fight. Yeah, that's empty. Us. We don't need that stuff. All right, let's get out of here. We have to get back to Hangman's Alley. Because that's where all the junk is that we need to mod our new T60 power armor. So, let's get down on the ground. Whee! Yeah. Call up one of our new Verdi birds and catch a ride on over. Okay, these are always in, uh, yeah, I bought some more. Just throw one of those suckers out there. Whoa. Now, he's going to have problems landing a hangman's alley. So what's going to happen is he's going to land at his, what he deems the closest location, which is going to be, um... that amphitheater there right around here so instead I think it's probably better to go to let's try to land at Cambridge Polyburn Labs and yes I know I leveled up
All right, here comes our ride. Yeah. And my beard just wore off. That means my strength went down a bit. Let me take this. That wasn't enough. No, okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to lighten the load somehow. Give me a second here. Home, James. Let's try that. Okay, now try not to bash into any Many buildings on the way, okay? Ready to fire. Good shooting, sir. I mean, I know these Vertibird signal grenades are only like, you know, 20 bucks a pop or something like that, but uh, that's no excuse for bad piloting. Dude! We're going straight for that building! Altitude, at a boy. Okay, so there is the wreck of the USS Riptide. Looks like he's going to land at the polymer lamps. Lo and behold, all right. At a boy. He's a good birdie bird. Way to go! Awesome! <laughs> Thanks for the ride! See in the funny papers! Okay, so Hangman's Alley's right over there. And we have fast travel. Somewhat limited, but fast travel. Sweet home. And I'm going to call it a run. Coming up next, we're going to mod up this T60 power armor. Model E all the way down the line. See if I've got all, enough components to do so. Actually, let me just park over the, the weapon workbench. It's more sense. Too quiet. Stop bitching. <laughs> oh man. I always wanted to say that. What if Paladin Dance gets here? There we go. Just make sure nobody takes off with my uh Yeah. Mine. Alright boys? Mine. Touch it and die. <laughs> and that's it, let's sleep till morning, get into good night's sleep. But yeah, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel for more kick-ass Fallout 4 videos. See you next video.